to another episode of Sims 4 Custom Content The Core Challenge and I am your host Samantha. No I'm just being silly today but <laughs> yes it is me Samantha and we are back to decorate this beautiful home which is glitching like crazy right now but I don't know what's going on with my computer. It's been acting kind of crazy lately and it's just the story of my dog on life. But anyway on last episode we worked on this cute Minecraft room and I can't remember if my son has my phone right now but somebody in the comment box told me that there is um, a smaller chair that looks exactly like this and I saw it I did a live stream Friday and I saw it so I was like yay I'm gonna go grab this stuff and if they, there's actually this option which I think looks really good too because it looks down like like a broken down tree and then there's also like this ottoman, which I thought was really cool looking if you want to stick it in the middle. But I don't know how they're going to act about getting in between here and sitting. Uh, but I guess if he wanted to like put his food or whatever on here while he's eating, that might be a cool little option. And then these are the chairs that kind of go on the side that can kind of give him um, a different, I guess, some more seating for his friends when they come over. But I'm almost thinking that uh, I like these. I wish I could do them on an angle, really really when you think about it because I mean you know who's going to be sitting facing that way trying to play on the computer and I don't know if I'm gonna keep this ottoman in here or not but I like how it looks because it does give the feel like it's been handmade furniture that might be possibly in a Minecraft house you know so I don't know I'm just wondering if they're going to act like they can't sit down on this chair because this is in the way um but it locks into place and I don't have move objects on right now so I don't know but anyway so for right now that is pretty much what we're going to do. I am going to test this lot when it's all said and done with the family just to kind of see um, how it maneuvers and see like a family like move around it. And I think that'll be kind of fun to see. And uh, so I know eventually it'll, you know, it'll be tested. And then if we need to take it out, we'll take it out. And I just took a picture of this and I have the grid on. So let's take the grid off and do this all over again. But anyway, hopefully you guys are having a good day. I, um, had a very chill weekend so did the live stream thursday i said friday that was thursday oh wait we're doing the bathroom today did the live stream thursday and then um it kind of threw me off <laughs> for my friday reporting and um so anyway and just all weekend it's been just super chill just been super chill i caught up on i ended up running into this like this comic strip called sega i don't know if you guys are into comics or what have you but uh, or Saga. I'm sorry, I said Sega. It's called Saga. Anyway, um, it was so good. Oh my gosh. So I got stuck like reading it and I couldn't stop. Like literally, I could not stop. And um, I ended up reading all one through 43, literally back to back to back to back to back. So I was pretty useless when it came to um, <laughs> anything else, you know, but it was chill. It was chill. It's, it's nice to have uneventful weekends where you could just kind of chill out and not have to have like a whole bunch of stress and things going on, which is cool. But I did get some uh, bathroom furniture and my my hardest things, my hardest struggle, I guess, with this bathroom is keeping it, uh, which this door might, this door might get changed. I don't know. I like it from this side, but when it comes to the bathroom side, I, I just don't know. But anyway, um, and I forgot I moved this door over here. So got like this weird placement right now but um all right so anyway uh what was I about to say I lost my train of thought just that quick um lost my train of thought just that quick no all right let's go to the bath oh that's what I was trying to say bathroom stuff so it was difficult for me to find um bathroom things that were nice and generic okay because you know there's there's such thing like themed bathrooms but when you're coming across a bathroom that needs to be shared by you know a teenage girl who's like into fashion and you know all this type of stuff and then a little boy <laughs> who is into like minecraft you just want to have them be able to go in here and just coexist without having to meld the two worlds which means you kind of need like a um a generic bathroom you know so anyway so i end up using this is gonna be i end up using peacemaker again i saw like a ton of stuff but i'm just i like his stuff okay so let's just let's keep it real he was the same people the same creator that created um all of this kitchen stuff and also all of the uh stuff right here 
in this uh, form of living. So I don't know. His stuff is just really crisp and clean. Honestly, you can't go wrong with any of his stuff, to be honest with you. So it's almost like when I saw it, even though I had like a handful of things that I was testing out in my head, I was kind of like, okay, this is a no brainer. I like this shower though, because um, I remember on the comments, he was boasting that it was one that you could kind of make your own floor and your own wall. So I like the idea of being able to do that. And then this is just like a little smaller version of it which is really cool. The other ones are from the Create Your Own Shower Kit, which we're not going to use. And then we have a toilet. So I'm just going to grab all the stuff that came with his set, uh, which comes so in handy because like I said before, he has the um, icons color coded. So it's easy to kind of catch the um, the things that we need. So we got a two, we got this one and then we have this one. So we definitely need like a double sink situation. So I'm going to probably... Uh, do two sinks but of course I need to scoop this one over some and then because we want two sinks like his and her oh is, what's in the way what's in the way all right what is in the way and then we can kind of toggle through the colors but what's in the way cannot intercept other out but what's in the way this door should not be in the way but apparently it's in the way um I could worst case put this over here and let her have her own sink for when she comes in the bathroom and then I could give him his own sink over here for when he comes in the bathroom. Would that look crazy? Actually, no, that wouldn't look crazy because they're on opposite ends of the room. Uh, let's toggle through the colors real quick and see what we got. Cause I like this color. It's nice and neutral, but, um, I'm thinking like I'd want to do something wooden like this, like a nice contrast. I love that marble top though. That marble top is so pretty. I am a sucker for like light cap, like loud light counters and very dark cabinets. Like, like the contrast of it just looks so clean to me. I don't know why, but um, I don't know why I feel like that. Then it comes in these cute colors too, which we could totally have fun and do something very cute and colorful. But like I said, the only concern is, is that two people are sharing this bathroom potentially. And if they have guests, the guests might come in this bathroom. So you want it to be, even this blue is really pretty. Uh, but you want it to be something that's neutral uh, where everybody can kind of enjoy and it not be like a certain, you know, bias, like someone that likes yellow or someone that likes green, you know, or something like that. So I do like this gray too. It's not as neutral as it probably could be, but I do like it. Let's see. Is it this one? Is that stuff? That's not it. That's not it. It was this one. Yeah, I like that one, uh, which of course it might change depending upon what um which walls and what floor we do but as of right now I'm digging it I'm digging that I kind of like I was kind of hoping to put their shower their sinks side by side but I mean I guess realistically he comes to use the bathroom he'll come to his shower she'll come in hers and then she'll have her not shower she'll have her little sink so that makes sense to have them be separate the only thing that I wish is that both of the sinks had like a built-in feel like if I pushed this in a bit and gave him like a little a little niche like this, but um, I think that's just going to be the trick of the trade at this point. Because uh, if I do that, which I could, I could theoretically do that. So let's let's play around and see. Of course, it's messing with the architecture again <laughs> of the house, which for some reason I keep doing. See, it feels like I keep doing it. But what if we did do it like this, and then I kind of locked it like that, and then. He has like a little bit of a, would that be kind of odd? Actually, I kind of like how it looks because it looks like his is like has a different whole little area over here that is just for his bathroom door where it's not so noticeable in. You know, I, I, I am, I think I am going to like this. I think I'm going to like this. I know. And it's really only just because I want to make this look even on both sides. Uh, I guess we'll put the door right there, which their doors are not going to be in the exact same area because hers is right there. He doesn't really have space because it's, it's funny because it's the same shape. It looks like it's a mirrored shape, but her room is deeper than his room because his room is like a different angle. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think I like how that looks. And that way he'll have like his own little cut out, like his own little pushed in sink and she'll have her own little pushed in sink. Okay, cool. I like how that looks. Awesome. All right. So now the question is, now that we've done that, I need to fix the carpet and stuff over here. So when you come in his room, you won't straight see um, 
yeah, when you come in his room, you'll just, you know, you'll see like a little push out right here and then you'll go around this corner and it'll be his bedroom, his bathroom door. Do I want to put it there? I guess we could just put it there. We'll just leave it there for now because this sink is right here. I mean, this uh, shower is right here. So now the question is, uh, let's go back to the bathroom stuff and I'm going to toggle it on custom content. I want to see, did, okay, so he did have a tub, but then he also had this double shower. Can it be a tub as well? That's the only thing I don't know. I think it won't. I think this is the only, so we have a tub and then we have a shower. So I kind of want to do both. So I'll probably get rid of the double shower and we'll just stick with the one shower right there because that just makes sense um and then we could go from there i also need to put a light switch in here i'll probably put them a light switch on both on uh let's see well i'll do the light switch in a minute because apparently i'm not gonna be able to do both <laughs> now i'm thinking that this room should not take a long time only because i'm like it's a bathroom it should not take a long time but i feel like it might end up taking a long time Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I can get you guys in and out of here really quickly and then it won't be that big of a deal. So just questioning how this should be because when he first comes in, do we want to go straight to the shower? No, we do not. We do not want that to happen. So I think the best thing, which, you know, now I'm thinking about it, I might could possibly do that double shower. I might could possibly do that double shower. Oh gosh, this is going to look really odd. This is going to look really odd, y'all. Because now I've just kind of like put ourselves in this weird, do we need it? <laughs> Look, now I'm like, do we really need a tub? Do we really need a tub? Like we kind of do. You know what I could do though? Okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. We're going to actually go back. Well, let me grab everything first that we're going to need. So we need a light switch. I'll put one over here for when he comes in the door. Okay, well, I can't put it over here. I want a light switch for him. Oh, darn it. Okay, well, can she get one? Because he's going to have to, he's not going to be able to walk way over here to come cut off the light switch. Can you imagine your nerves if you come in the bathroom and it's dark and you got to walk way over here just to hit the light? I want him to have a light over here. So I'm probably going to have to put move objects on. So let's do that right now. Uh, maybe that's move objects on. All right. And then hopefully I can put that right there. All right. Now I'm going to cut it off because I want to be able to, because it's really just for um, off decoration purposes um that whole little you know light switch right there is so i'm not really concerned about whether it's accessible or not but i've noticed that if you have move objects on and of course and then you don't cut it off then things kind of go you know it kind of fools you into thinking that things are going to fit in certain spots and then it ends up not fitting and then you're like your sim is waving their arms around like i can't get in there and you're like trying to figure out why what's the problem um so i'm going to put we're going to make like a little toilet room um what would be the best way to make a toilet room? Like a little toilet area. Is that a stupid toilet area right there? They come in here, they go over here, use the bathroom. I don't think, I don't think that's a stupid toilet room. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. I'm, I'm all for toilet rooms, especially when people are sharing bathrooms, because that way someone can have their privacy and it's not... You know, someone can come use the bathroom and it's not all like, oh, you invaded my privacy. So someone can still come in here and do other stuff and then someone can still use the bathroom. The only thing about putting it right there, <laughs> I just realized that, is that the doorway is going to get in her way. I mean, she's going to have like a door right next to her. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. All right, we could do another architectural change, okay? So let's see. If I make it this way... Just a little bit of a change here and then scoot it and then put the toilet here and then scoot this in. I just want it to be like a narrow, I want it to still have the feel. It's going to be a little bit different. Oh, shoot. I like the direction we were going earlier, but now I'm not so sure. Now I'm not so sure. I'm trying to use our space as wisely as possible. The tub might have to go, y'all. The tub might actually have to go, but I definitely feel like a toilet room is going to be necessary, but I don't like that. Um, I don't like that. I don't like that. Not at all. Okay. All right. You know what? I can keep, still keep it like this, but put the toilet over here and I'm going to have to get down in here and look where I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to have to get down and dirty up in here and get where I'm going. And then maybe we put the toilet, the door right there. So they just come in and then it's like toilet. 
man, that's like a small toilet room. Um, but you know, it, it it's doable though, because they should be able to go in there and actually go use the bathroom. Now on the flip side, you know what though? Okay. Huh. This is tough. This is tough because this is tough. This is going to be fairly tough. So if I don't do a toilet room at all, okay, let's see. Let's see y'all. <laughs> You know, I'm glad you guys come along with this journey with me, but golly, it is hard. It is hard. I agree. I admit it. It is hard. Um, I guess I don't have to do a toilet room. I could do a half wall. Let's look at the half walls and see what that'll look like. Because I think, um, of course, it won't be as privacy as doing a full. It may be even taller than that. Um, okay, it'll just have to be like, hey, I'm in the bathroom right now. Only because I don't like the way the toilet room is breaking up this room. It's not really giving us a lot of uh, a lot of uh, leeway. Is that too tall? That might actually work for some privacies, though. I can't see them coming in here fussing about somebody in their privacy area. And I might get even bring it out this far. But then it's almost like it's too tall. You get in there and you're like feeling like you're in somebody's stall. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, oh, it's like either be a room or be a half wall. Uh, let's just do this one. I still feel like they should be able to get some privacy with that. And if we wanted to just kind of decorate it a little bit, we could go with, didn't I have some banisters? I didn't have no banisters. What? I ain't got no banisters. I ain't got no banisters. All right. So I could put, when I, I'm saying banisters, but they might even be called banisters, but I could put like a little pillar or something just to kind of decorate this little area. Um, Nothing round. We want something square, but nothing with, well, I guess we could put a light, not that one. Something square, but then that's like way too big. Oh yeah, that's way too big. Why is that so big? This is probably like the right size, but I don't like the light on the bottom. This one's going to look all rustic looking. I don't want it to look rustic. We want something that goes with the decor of this house, something that matches the feel of this house. See, that's skinny enough, but I think it's illuminated. So I think it's going to be like, well, maybe not. Maybe it's not illuminated. I don't know why I think it is, but it looks like it should have like a light to it. Uh, let's see here. It does have like a little weird light to it. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to do this black in. That kind of goes with the smokiness of, which means this Needs to be something totally different. Maybe we'll do the stone and do like a black or gray. Is this gray? Something that kind of matches that. Does that look stupid? <laughs> oh, I'm always questioning myself when it comes to this, this, this stuff. Does that look dumb? Does that look stupid? It's kind of weird though, because you come in your room and it's like, boom, a big old pillar in the way. Um, I think we're going to forego that. And then that way I could put that right there. And then we could possibly still do, I'm sorry, y'all keep zooming out because I'm trying to like get a feel. When they come in, it'll be like a tub there, a toilet there. Huh. This is just a weird shaped bathroom. I mean, let's just be real. Let's see if there's any mirrors real quick. And then I could kind of come back and look at the um, tub and toilet situation. Because we're definitely going to need to put some mirrors. So let's toggle it in custom content. So he gave us, oh, a makeup mirror and this mirror. So we could use those. I think those look really nice. And for the daughter's side, we could definitely give her a little makeup mirror right there. Because she's going to want to be a little bit extra. Let's see if we got any clutter or towels or anything like that. So we have, oh, we got some toothbrushes. We got a cotton ball container. We got some soap. And then we got like a little pump of something. We could put it on that side. Uh, something. Something a little bit. Oh, shoot. I hate when they lock in a place like that. I hate that. But these are nice. These are really nice. Let me see if they come in different colors. They do. So we could do like a dark gray color. Uh, or should we do something that like kind of... Oh, like that color is nice. Kind of brings out the, the marble. Uh, oh, not that. I wanted the mirror. I wanted to do the mirror a different color. 
the mirror doesn't do a different color. Okay, maybe not. Okay, maybe the mirror doesn't do a different color. So was this one? I'm gonna go look back and see. Did the mirror come in? The mirror does come in different colors. That's weird. I'm gonna do the chromey color. That's cute. Well, it's really nice. Golly, this stuff is really nice. This guy impresses me all the time. He impresses me all the time. And then we have some um, lights. So we don't have to use... Oh, gosh. I'm telling y'all, my game is acting all sorts of crazy right now. Um, but to be fair, it has been on for a couple days. <laughs> it has been on for a couple days back and forth. I need to cut my computer off. I feel like that's when you have... Oh, I need to fix this. I feel like when you're having problems with your computer, the best thing to do is cut it off and like give it like a little time to kind of reset everything and then cut it back on. I feel like that's like the best thing to do. All right, so let's get on his side and go back through, um, I think we're all clutter and let's filter by custom content. And then we also have this stuff too. We got conditioner um, and then we have this stuff, which we might could put this stuff somewhere else. So I'm not gonna put that on his personal, but I'm gonna put this and then, oh, I need to do the right color. I forgot just that quick. We're gonna do the same gray color. And then, would he have a cotton ball? He probably would have some soap, but maybe not a cotton ball because he's not like into makeup and stuff like that. And then possibly this. We can put that smack in the middle and let's change it to a dark gray color as well. And then we even got tissue boxes. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. We got towel racks. We can put his little towel. I like how this is like, like built in right here. I really do. I like how that came out. I'm going to actually use option and put this up just a smidge. And then let's go over here and give her one. I might change the color of those in a second. Give me a minute so I can figure out what I want to change it to, though, because right now it's just white. Uh, let's see. Is there any more colors? It does come in different colors. So we could do a dark gray color. I mean, is that neutral enough for you or, or what? I think it is. I think it is. It's kind of neutral enough. Uh, do we give her a tissue box, too? We could give her a tissue box. Let's give her one. Where did the tissue go? Where did the tissue go? Wait, y'all, where did the tissue go? Wait, we got all sorts of stuff. We got a so you know what? I'm gonna see if there's like a built-in. Is there like a shelf? Let's see, is there any shelves or anything like that? Because it would be nice to have like a built-in shelf and then they could put all that extra stuff on there. So what is this kit called? Let's see. Then we got this. Uh, we even have cast iron plant. Oh wow. But I don't know where we're putting this at, though. It also came with this peace lily, which is really pretty. You could put that on top of something if we had space for it, which we don't. Um, and then I think this one, Hampton's Getaway. It's called Hampton's Getaway. So I think that's the same name as the other stuff, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, then we also have rugs. Let's see if he gave us any rugs. We didn't get any. Oh, we didn't get any rugs. Okay, that's fine, though, because... Uh, but I really think, because I just saw, I, I could have swore we saw this tissue box, and now all of a sudden I don't see it. Uh, we have a toilet paper roll, so let's go grab that. We could put it, I guess, over here. Does it look like that's okay, or is it on the, it's on the floor? <laughs> it, would make it, it would make sense to put it somewhere where your sim can access, accessible it. Accessible it? That's not what I'm trying to say. Ex -ac access it. Oh my gosh. Here goes the toilet paper. The tissue paper, I meant. Uh, put it back there. All right, cool. And then she'll have her own tissue over there. Got toilet paper right there. Um, all right. What else did it come with? We got this one. Uh, we got all of that. We got, of course, this stuff right here. I'm just going to put it right here for now until we can figure out somewhere to put it. Or we could use it best. Uh, okay. So I can only okay, put this one on the floor for now. I just wish we had like a... Um, and then we got this right here. A hanging towel. Oh, cool. I just don't know where we could put it. I don't know where we could put it at, though. I just don't know. I just don't know where we could put it. And I'm almost tempted to just put a shower in here, y'all, because I'm looking at this like, I think a shower would make more sense in here. Because <sighs> I wanted to try to do both, but I would rather a tub and a shower. And if I can't do both, I want to just do a shower. Because at least your Sims don't take a long time taking a shower. So we'll just go on and shoot for putting this long shower in here. And what we can do, if worse comes to worse, go in here and we'll box this off. So let's make this a little bit taller. 
just make this just a regular wall here and that way it could look like it's boxed in right right okay and then that way we can make it be a little bit more and we could probably even do something like that okay okay I'm digging it I'm digging it so far we even could probably do something like this and then we could box it in all together right you guys get what you get you get what I'm saying right now and if I wanted to I could probably even leave this open and put storage right there if we wanted to but I don't think I want to but we could we could totally do that and if I needed to I could put his light switch over here with move objects on so let's go put move objects on bb.move objects on and then we could put his right here all right and then I might even move hers that way she has a towel right there okay no that'll work and then I'll put let's see if we can find like a little storage shelf or something um okay this one is called let's do this because i feel like i'm not going to be able to see everything it comes with it's called hampton's getaway so let's just type in hampton's get okay so there is a difference one is hideaway and one is getaway so we got face wash we got double shower cot ball cot conditioner cup blah, 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 bath bomb jar bath soaps jar so we got like a lot of stuff we got an accent table uh which is is this it hampton's getaway i don't know where we're putting a accent table at <laughs> where does one put an accent table at i don't know let's see let me cut the move objects off bb move objects off all right and then um i don't know where we're putting this at though to be honest with you but i'm just gonna stick it right here for now because i didn't even know you know i look at all the stuff that comes with but you never know for sure hamptons get away but I want to know there's not like a shelving system. Darn it. I think what we probably should do, let's do this. I'm going to do custom content. Because I'm telling y'all, I feel like the more stuff we grab, the harder it's going to get to find stuff that we need. So what is this? Okay, this is a shower shelf. All right, so we could put this in the shower. Actually, we could probably put like a couple. Should we put them back? Let's put them back here. All right, let's put them back here. And hopefully that doesn't interfere with them actually coming in here to take a shower. And then we could put stuff on here. And of course, this is just for decoration purposes because we know they're not going to really use it. And I'm missing stuff, but we could totally put some more stuff on here. Oh, yeah. And then everything kind of just locks right in there. Perfect. And then we'll get the rest of the stuff in a minute. But we have this linen cabinet cabinet okay so this is hampton's getaway short linen cap oh y'all oh my gosh that fit perfectly in that spot are you kidding me that's what i was saying i wanted to do so this one is short height this one is short okay what's the difference oh this one's longer we could probably go for the longer one since we have such a tall room right here even though nobody's gonna be able to reach really what's up there so i'm not going to go that high we'll just do like the regular one and then let's make it the same color as the rest of the cabinets, which was like, was it like gray? Was it this gray? I think it was. Yeah, it was that gray. Okay. And then, um, so cool. So that, it came with this one right here. See, I don't understand why it's not coming up when I do, when I type in Hampton's Getaway, because that did not come up originally. So I kind of feel like... We might be missing some stuff. So let's do this. I'm going to go show all, hopefully, custom content, and then I'll just kind of scroll. Actually, you know what? Let's not do it this way. No, I got an idea. Let's do all right here, and then that way we can see it in segments, and I can just kind of see. Because like I said, one good thing about this creator is he has like these colored um, icons or thumbnails, so you could kind of get a feel for what his stuff is. So like this one is one that the laundry hamper come in handy. Totally. So let's put it down in here somewhere. We have to push option. I mean, I, in theory, I'd like to use it, but it seems kind of like an odd place. And I don't want to put it in front of the shower because then they're going to complain they can't get to the shower if I put it right there. So, huh. I don't know what to do with this one. 
Seems like a really weird place. Yeah, I don't want to do it in the middle of the thing like that. I don't. So we probably won't be using the hamper, which kind of sucks. Uh, let me get rid of the shower. I guess if I could give him his own hamper outside his room, which is what the daughter has. She has her own hamper. So I'm just going to give him his own hamper right out here. All right. At least he'll have his hamper. It's not up against the wall, though. That's going to annoy me just a smidge. <laughs> just a smidge. Um, all right, so let's see what else. Then we got these shelves. I already did those already. We got that. All right, so then let's go to plumbing, which is what we are in the bathroom stuff right now. So we could, what, can we use one of these drains? We could use one of these drains, even though technically it's not his stuff, just to put something down there. And then we'll figure out the shower pan, like the, the what we want to use for the bottom of it once we uh, get to that point. So anyway, let's go here. Nothing there. And let's go to decorations. I'm sure there's going to be stuff here that we could probably use. Uh, I'm going to go through them real quick. Let's see what we got, what we got, what we got. What do we have here? What do we have here? I feel like we should have way more than we're coming across and we're not coming across anything. So we can put some stuff up here for like extra little storage stuff. Can it go back? Okay, can't go back there. Okay, then we got this one. And then we got this one. All righty. And then we could also put, if we wanted to, some linens right there, even though I feel like we've used these to death. Do they come in different colors? I don't know. I don't know about these. I wish we just had like regular towels. I might just grab some regular um, non-custom content towels and just put them right there. Because see, that's like clothes and stuff. We don't want to put that right there. We definitely don't want to put that there. Uh, let's see what else. Let's see what else we could put. I'm looking. I'm looking. I hate when it comes down to this, though, and I'm sitting there looking for. I feel like that is the hardest part. We could put this stuff up here. Is this going to fit? Okay, good. All right, does it fit? Oh, cool. But y'all, these are nice. I'm telling y'all, this guy right here is, I mean, he is winning right now in my book. Like, no lie. All right, let's see what else we got we could put up here. Uh, we're going to definitely need some rugs for the floor, but I'll worry about that when we get to that part. Oh, we got this. A towel rack. Oh, here goes some folded towels. So we could put these. Oh, gosh. I feel like these should be down lower. Uh, so I might move this stuff up here. Can I put all of them up there? No, I can't. Oh gosh. Okay. I can't put all of them up there. So we might put these down here because that makes sense for that stuff to be a little bit more accessible. Definitely put the towels right here. So let's grab some more towels and then extra toiletries will just stick up here. Um, or maybe another thing of towels. Well, it's not letting me do another thing of towels right there. Um, okay. We'll put another thing of, uh, what are we missing? This one looks like, okay, I'll grab it. Oh, wait, no, I want the, I don't know why I thought I had it. I was looking at that glass and not paying attention. And we'll just stick that right there for now. Okay. And then that way, I wish I could stack more. I could, I could, in theory, put some more towels on top. But I think that's fine right there. All right. So then let's go over here and put these uh, towels right here. We're going to change the color of these towels, though. And the hanging towel, I'm not a fan of because I'm just, I'm just not, <laughs> just not a fan of the hanging towel. So I could do two towels like this, put them one on top of another. What is it intersecting? That's the issue. Okay, let's put move objects back on. BB.move objects on. And then we could put this one back on top. All right, there we go. And then let's change the colors and do like that gray color. All right, there we go. And that is not bad, not bad at all. All right, so what else can we put out? Let's see. I feel like my uh, music for my game is so low right now. Okay, so that was all decorations. Like I said, we're not going to worry about putting no plants or anything like that in here because it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. All right, kids, uh, let's do show all. I doubt if anything in kids is going to come up for bathroom stuff. Yeah, and then let's go to lighting. And I think we got the only lighting that goes with this set. And I already put it up, which was these. Um, so we did that already. Then let's go to electronics. I'm almost positive there's nothing in electronics because why would there be? And then, I mean, it's a bathroom. <laughs> Who puts electronics?
electronics in their bathroom. Well, take that back because I, I we have electronics. In our, we have like a well, we used to have like a little radio thingy in our bathroom, but it wasn't any place where it would have been like dangerous or anything like that. So I think for the most part, we're kind of done with this bathroom, y'all. I want to put like a little seat. I could always put a little seat right here because I'm all about like putting seats in the bathroom. I don't know why. Let's go to surfaces. No, comfort. It'll be under comfort. And like one of those little ottoman thingies. Um, I'm probably about to get off of this. Uh, so someone can sit. I guess that'll be like an ottoman. What would it be under? Miscellaneous maybe? Yep, it'll be something like this. All right. So we could always put like this one because this one kind of goes with the whole vibe and then someone can sit there and I guess get undressed or what have you get ready to get to the bathroom. I mean, get to the, 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 the shower. Bleh. All right. And let's go back here and let's go to rugs and let's just go grab since it didn't really come with any rugs for the floor. Um, let's see. Cause we need to get something that's gray. We could probably go with those, which are kind of cool. I never even used this stuff. This stuff came with parenthood. I never even used it before. So let's use those so we can at least say we use something from Parenthood. We can't put it in the shower, though. That's not going to work. All right, good. Awesome. Okay, I love it. Can we say that I love it? All right, let's figure out the floor because I want to put like a, a different type of tile on this floor in here. Something that uh, looks like a shower tile. Uh, that looks kind of like a shower tile. Does it come in different colors? It does. Uh, that one actually is actually really cool. Okay, let's look at the wall really quickly because whatever I do on the floor, I want to do something similar on the wall. That's too big. Those squares are a little bit too big. I want to do tile. Okay, there go tile. I was in the wrong thing. Okay, so this is the same one. So let's try to get a black and do the same exact thing. Right? Does that look good? I think it does. I like it a lot. All right. And then for the wall coloring, we could probably even go with like a gray, um, a gray. Is that going to be too bland? I don't know. It might be too bland because we don't want to make it like I'm trying to make it neutral, but I don't want to make it like too dark where it's like sad. Not that gray is sad, but sometimes dark colors can just be like super sad. That's no fun for anybody. You know what? Do I do something with a trim or no? I don't know. Okay. I'm kind of digging this and I'm kind of not. I like this gray, but I'm wondering if it's a little too, because I don't know what other color I'd put on this wall. And this is that beer paint that we've been using quite often during this little challenge. Uh, this door is going to drive me up the wall. <laughs> it is. It's going to drive me up the wall. I think it's cute, but it just does not go in here. It just does not go. So I'm sorry, son. You're going to have to have a regular door just so it can look like it goes in this room. All right. So not bad, though. Let's go back to the paints because the only other one I would probably do. Um, I don't care so much if it has trim or not. I think this is, is that too dark? Oh, actually, that's probably, see, that looks like a bachelor pad almost, doesn't it? Because this looks almost bluish. I don't want a blue color. Oh, this one is better. What about this one? It's like an ash gray. So it's not as dark, but still gray. And I hate that I have to do each individual wall. I guess I can draw. I could do that like that. But then if I hit shift and collect the, select the whole wall, it's going to be, um, it's going to do the shower too. And I don't want it to do the shower. Awesome. All right, cool. I think I like that color the best. I didn't even see if there was other shower. Oh, there is other ones. Wow. Uh, do we want to do like a gray? Yeah, let's do a gray. And yeah, let's do a gray. All right. And then I'm trying to decide. I guess we could put some more stuff on these shelves in here. Um, is there like a bar? Oh, we could do the bar of soap. Put that down here. Which means this all has to be scooted over just a little bit just to make space so that soap won't fall off. 
Because that'll be annoying. and be like, don't drop the soap. And then you already had. You already dropped it. You already dropped the soap. All right, let's see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. Don't talk about me. Don't talk about me. All right, let's see. This. I think I'm going to do another one. And just change the color so it could look like it's something different. There we go. So it look like it's something different, but maybe not. <laughs> We're going to cheat our way through that one. And I like how that looks. That looks really good. And I'll stick with this black cover right here. And then the only other thing I want to do, since we dealt with chrome stuff, I need to put something in here as far as light goes. Yeah. And then let's put something in here. And then let's also grab another one and put it in our little linen area. And then I'll put one smack in the middle, about right here. And then let's change the color of them because right now they're gold and they should be more like a grayish color or actually even this lighter silver. Let's do the lighter silver. And then that way it could kind of go with this light fixture right here, which is funny because it's not really like a silver color, but it kind of looks like it is like that color. And then... Let's do that color. All right, cool. Now we just got to deal with the floor and then we're done. I didn't think that this bathroom was going to take a long time, but it ended up taking a long time. I don't know why though. Um, all right. Ooh, this is going to be a tough one because I want to go, I want to get something that goes in here good, but I want it, I don't want it to clash with what we already have. Just going to be kind of an odd thing to pull off. This is going to be an odd thing to pull off. Whoa, this is going to be hard, y'all. This is going to be hard. This one might not be, golly, that's not, that's not pretty at all. I don't, I don't think I like this one. I don't like that one. Um, I think this one's going to be a little too... No, I don't like that one either. I feel like it needs to be something solid because this is like this in there. So it's just a matter of trying to find something that goes. Uh, I don't want to do the same tile. Even though if I did the inverse though, if I did the inverse, like the more white. Huh, that actually might be all right. So it'll still be the same family of tile. It'll just be like the inverse color. Okay, I'm digging it. I'm actually digging it. I really feel bad for this kid with this this door, but he's going to have to get over it. <laughs> I don't know. Why do I feel so bad about that? Y'all got to tell me down in the comment box if I'm thinking too much about it, but I'm feeling bad about it. I am. I love this shower, though. Like, real talk, I love this shower. I do. I really do. Uh, we probably could put something over the wall in here, like a picture. Let's see. Where do we get pictures from? Where do we get the pictures from? I feel like I've been decorating all week, <laughs> which I haven't, but it feels like I have been. Uh, let's see. What can we put? What can we put over this wall? That'll be like, I don't have like a lot of bathroom prints. I feel like I need to go find some, just some regular bathroom prints. Something that just has like just bathroom. Nothing, 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 you know, nothing like specific. I don't know. I don't know how to even explain what I'm trying to say, but just something that's just bathroom-ish. Uh, do we want to change this? I actually kind of like the black. Let's do the black mirrors. This this bathroom has gotten really dark really quickly. Did it not? Did it not get really dark really? I think this is it. All right. I mean, I we could we could probably use some more stuff on the walls, but honestly, I don't know where to put them on the walls because this little area is pretty much spoken for, and this little area is spoken for, and you know, I don't know. I like, but I do like how everything came out. I think it looks really nice. So, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go on and wrap this one up. I do like these little built-ins, though. This looks like a real bathroom, does it not? To me, it does. I might be a little biased because it's my bathroom, but. Is this the doors that we chose? Is that the real doors that we chose? Because why those look like they got scratches and stuff on them too? I was trying to do nice, elegant doors, but I think I keep picking bad ones. So I might have to go through and change all the doors again. <laughs> I might have to. Might have to go in and change all the doors. 
because that one looks like the bad scratched up door. It does. I'm trying to go in here and take pictures and get like one little once over. I love the clutter. I really do. I think that looks really nice. Um, yeah, I do. I like how everything came out. Yeah. And then we got our little toilet area right here, which hopefully they can have their little privacy and it won't be that big of a deal. And that is it. So guys, let me know what you think down in the comment box down below. Um, like I said, I think the only thing that bothers me, actually nothing really bothers me about this room. Um, I wanted to make it something neutral, but I don't know if I wanted to go like dark grays and blacks, but that's what it ended up being. Um, in the meanwhile, let me see if this is really this door. Is this really the same door? That one door has scrap. Made. Maybe that's just how they are. But far away, they look like they're fine. But then when you get up close on them, it's just like, what in the world? But anyway, so that's pretty much it. I might change out his hamper uh, to make it a little something more wooden. Because I feel like if it's going to be in his room, it should be something that goes with this little Minecraft theme. So it can look like it's something wooden. But I don't know if we have any wooden hampers. Just like wooden. I don't think we do. I don't think we... Well, we have this rectangular... Wicker. Oh, we have this one, but does it come in brown? Comes in that. Oh, that one's probably a little bit better because it looks like it's wooden versus the one. So at least he has his own hamper in his bathroom and he could go in, <laughs> which in theory is kind of weird because it's like you come, you throw your dirty clothes in here and then you walk through the bathroom to go take your shower or brush your teeth or whatever. But I like it. I think it came out really nice. Anyway, let me know what you thought, guys think in the comment box down below. And I hope you enjoyed. Um, of course, I think next episode we will probably tackle as much as I'm <laughs> as much as I'm uh dreading this because this little room is huge. Uh, we'll probably be tackling the living room next. So next episode we'll be tackling the living room. If you guys have any suggestions for furniture or anything, let me know. Um if not, because honestly, I haven't even really had an opportunity to really look for living room furniture. And then next, we'll be in the bathroom, the master bedroom, and then the upstairs room. And then we're done with this house. I think it's coming along so well. I love how it looks so far. But anyway, like I said, let me know what you think down in the comment box down below. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.